Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yusuf Scott. I want to thank all of you near and far for being here with me today watching this video. Alright, whether you're subscribed to my channel or just a loyal viewer of my, all my videos or if you just found me recently, I want to thank all of you. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please remember to do so. You want to make sure that you're, you're on top of receiving all of my content each and every week so that you can build upon your knowledge for a better trading journey. Alright? Now listen, this video today is going to be about why is it that I choose not to use Fibos, Fibonacci lines, or whatever you want to call it, the Fibonacci, um, uh, you know, indicator with my trading. I'm going to explain something to you guys, and it's going to be something. Hopefully, you guys can can really understand what it is that I'm talking about. All right. Now, listen. One thing that I do with my students, I have them to learn to read the chart for themselves. Do not use so many indicators where you cannot see the chart or you cannot realize what's going on on your chart all right so i want you guys to realize this one thing for certain is that the forex market is doing two things all the time it's going up and it's going down when it's going up it's going to a resistance when it's going down it's going to support so if you think about it when you learn how to draw your support and resistance levels properly you don't need Fibonacci because all Fibonacci is is the is the levels that the market will bounce from that's all they are so that's why I don't I don't use Fibonacci levels some people say man you're crazy well I'm not crazy you know I like to use my own lines I plot on my own lines and something that's a little deeper than just plotting on your lines is that because I choose to use my own lines you know my own support and resistance lines what happens I learn to depend on my own knowledge alright and my own realization of the market I learn to trust my own judgment I trust myself to put the lines on properly so that the market can swing from them lines I don't need to rely on someone's, someone else's calculation as to where the market would go. Not that I'm saying that Fibonacci lines are not accurate or they're not useful. I don't use them. To each his own. It's cool. If you want to use them, that's cool. But I choose not to use Fibonacci lines. I don't. I could draw my own lines. So rather than using something that's pre-calculated, I use my own. And I watch how, if, even if, and I've done this demonstration in front of my students where I plotted on my own lines and I took the Fibonacci tool and I went from the top to the bottom and the lines were almost smack on. They were perfect. All right? A few of them were off a little bit, but hey, it's in the vicinity. It's okay. So I want, I want you all to know that me drawing on my own lines, it does something to the mental. You start to trust in yourself and believe in yourself. Once you start to believe in yourself, you, you, you start to you know, rely on your own belief and your own, your, your, your own judgment. You don't, you know, because if for some reason, if, if that Fibonacci tool get wiped out, if MT4, if they take it away, then what happens to you? All right, so learn to start, or let's say start to learn to rely on your own knowledge that's why I'm so big on training students and and teaching people because I want you to learn to take charge of your own destiny do not rely on some some you know third party tool you know now I know that Fibonacci you know it's fine you want to use it it's fine but learn to draw your own lines yourself what happens you start to trust in yourself, believe in yourself. And that's what this is really about. A lot of students, they fail at force because they really don't believe in themselves. They see the market, they say, you know what, it looks like this market is going up. But then once they get in, they're in profit a little bit, then the market starts pulling back, they jump out, take a small profit. All right? Take a small amount of pips. When they turn around three, four days later, it then went up 400 pips. Only if they trusted in their initial 
uh, uh, sight of where the market is and where it was likely to go. That's why I draw my own lines on one because I want to believe in myself. All right. So I just want to let you guys know it's a lot deeper than just hey should I use this or should I use that. I trust my own lines. Once you start to trade and you trade and you trade, you start to believe in yourself. You know, you you start relying less on, or you start relying on less of other tools. Rely on yourself. Believe in yourself. It'll build yourself up. You, you can stand up straight and hold your head up high and say, I know how to do this. All right? Seeing is believing. See yourself plotting on yourself and believe in, believe in your level. Those are your levels. Not some pre-calculated man-made levels. You make the levels yourself. You believe in your levels. Those are your levels. So own it. So once you own what you believe in, who can stop you? All right? So listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. I hope that this video has helped many people from around the world and helped you guys realize my, my belief system as far as why I do not use Fibonacci levels, all right, or the Fibonacci tool. You guys have a fantastic day. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Peace. Thank you.